React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. I am ill-equipped to talk about any other topic than software development. As software engineers, we are always about improving continuously upon an existing system. We are obsessed with making things better and better over time. And I feel like there are a lot of positive values that come out of such an obsession. And I really hope that we can use the current situation as a, an opportunity to be more united than ever, to become better characters, better versions of ourselves, and to make better decisions in the people we choose to be our leaders. Now, this video is about transitions in Reanimated 2. Transitions are the easiest way to animate React Native components. And you might have been wondering how these transitions look like with Reanimated 2. Let's have a look. All right, so here we have our infamous card example, and it has two states, toggled, which is true or false, and we rotate the cards depending on the state. If toggled is false, the rotation is zero, like this. If toggled is true, we rotate by 30 degrees, so pi is 180 degrees divided by 6, 30 degrees, depending on the index. Index is zero, so we would have minus zero, minus one, minus one, so that would be minus 30 degrees. Index is one, we would have zero, so zero degrees, that's the card here. And uh, two minus one is one, so we'd have 30 degrees here. And what we want to do, of course, is to have a nice smooth animation to go from one state to the other. And the first thing we're gonna do is to associate an animation value to the state of our component. So if the state of toggle is true, the animation value is one. If the state is false, the animation value is zero. So I'm going to create a shared animation value and I'm going to call it is toggled. And um, so use shared value, default value zero. Here default value is false. And when the state change, we want to assign the matching value to is toggled and we're going to use use effect for that. So use effect. So the dependency is on toggled. And so we want to assign is toggled dot value. If toggled is true, value is one. If not, it is zero. So here we can add is toggled. The identity will never change but we can add it to the array of dependency to make ESLint happy. So now we have a matching animation value for the state of the component, and we can create a transition animation value from it, and we're going to use use derive value to derive the transition value based on the value of is toggled. So transition equal use derived value and we're going to return with spring. So it can be with timing, with spring on um, is toggled dot value. And now we can use this value to infer the rotation. So this is going to become an animated style. So I'm going to create a variable called style. And so style, and we're going to use use animated style. So we're going to return this transformation. And now we need to calculate rotate, which we need to do within use animated style, which is run on the UI thread. And here, what we need to do is to do an interpolation from is toggled, which is zero to one. And you know, we always have to um, interpolate functions, uh, values from a value that goes from zero to one. And in OpenGL, there is this mix function, which is quite convenient, which will provide in reanimated one via Redash. 
that we can uh, use quickly here as a worklet. So we mix the value would be is to gold and we go from zero to index minus one times pi divided by six. So let's create the mix worklet quickly. So we would have mix value x, y, it's a worklet. So this is the formula. So we return x times one minus value plus y times value. So if is toggle is zero, value is zero. If toggle is one, value is, so depending on the index is a rotation and we will nicely interpolate between zero and one. So let's have a look. Uh, sorry, I need to do dot value here. So this is not working because I, here I, it is working on the is toggle value, but I need to choose, of course, the transition value. Probably need to reload here. And you see, it looks pretty good. I like the bouncing of the card. It's nice. We can use weave timing instead, for instance, duration, let's say one second. You need to import weave timing from reanimated two. And here we have a slow, also interruptible transition. And one thing we can do is to Sorry about that. Is to make this function generic like we did in Redash with reanimated one. So we can create a function called use transition. So the first argument is the state, the so which is a Boolean value or a number, and then the animation config. So we know that we need to create a value. So use shared value. We know that we need to assign match the state of change, the state change to the value. So here we would have value state and so value dot value. So if value is Boolean, so type of state equals boolean um, we have to do zero or one depending on if state is true if not if it's a number we just reassign it state and from there we can create the transition value which we can return And here would be state, and here we can be config. Uh, sorry, value dot value. Let me return the transition. So this is the kind of new hooks we are going to ship part of the new version of Redash that will support reanimated two. We rewrote already quite uh, a lots of uh, Redash to work with uh, reanimated two. So here we can use directly transition equals use transition on toggled, let's say duration 400 milliseconds. We can remove this part here. And you see here, it animates nicely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this example on transitions with reanimated two. If you're interested, to learn reanimated two, I have videos on this topic coming up next week. And of course, you can brush up on reanimated one 
at startreactnative.dev. So if you're interested to learn the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, I really hope that you will check it out. Guys, I am really looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.